Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the very famous Knight's Tour problem and its implementation. So let's first understand the Knight's Tour problem. So a Knight's Tour is a sequence of moves by a knight such that it visits each square of the chessboard exactly once and there is no restriction from which position the knight starts its tour. So the knight can start the tour from any square in the chessboard. Now let's talk about what are the possible moves of a knight in chess. So a knight can move two squares horizontally and one square vertically. So that will lead to these four possible moves. Or a knight can move two squares vertically and one square horizontally. So that will lead to these four possible moves. So in chess, a knight can make any one out of these eight possible moves. Now, depending on the position where knight currently is, the possible moves for knight can decrease like in this case. The knight can only move to one of the four possible squares on the right side denoted with black dots. Similarly, uh, if the knight is at any one of the four corners of the chessboard, then in that case the knight can only move to one of the two uh, possible squares. Now let's see a knight's tour on a 5 into 5 square chessboard. So this is an example of a 5 into 5 square chessboard knight tour. So in this example the knight starts from the middle of the chessboard but that is not required. So finally we will be able to visit each square exactly once. Now let's see a knight's tour on a 8 into 8 square chessboard. So in this example we start from the top of the chessboard not from the middle of the chessboard. So we will be able to visit each square of the chessboard exactly once. Now this is a 8 into 8 square chessboard. So it have 8 rows from 0 to 7 and 8 columns from 0 to 7. So if we take uh, this position as an example. So this is third row and fourth column. So knight is placed at 3 comma 4. And so knight can move to 5, 5, 4, 6 or 2, 6 or 1, 5 or 1, 3 or 2, 2 or 4, 2 or 5, 3. So if we generalize uh, the moves of the knight. So if we denote this location as ij, the knight can move to this location which is two columns uh, two rows down and one column ahead so i plus 2 j plus 1 or the knight can move to this location which is i plus 1 j plus 2 or knight can move to this location which is i minus 1 j plus 2 or the knight can move to this position which is i minus 2 j plus 1 or the knight can go to this location which is i minus 2 j minus 1 or the knight can move to this cell which is i minus 1 j minus 2 or knight can move to this cell which is i plus 1 j minus 2 or the knight can move to this cell which is i plus 2 j minus 1 now let's talk about how we're gonna approach the solution so we will start the knight tour from the top left corner which is cell 0 0 and we will try knight's eight possible moves one by one and if we find a move is valid and the knight haven't already visited that square we will make the next move to that square and we will keep visiting the unvisited square until knight visits each square of the chessboard so now let's see the implementation so we will have a app class so in the app class we have main method so we declare a board size and in the constructor of the knight tour class we pass the board size and then we call the solve knight tour problem which is a method in the knight tour class so in the knight tour class we have properties board size 
and a two dimensional array uh, visited. So both sides will be passed from uh, in the constructor and the visited is a 2D array which denotes the moves made by the knight and there are two arrays x moves and y moves which will allow us to uh, try all eight possible moves of a knight so we saw this in the example here so this uh, by using those two array x moves and y moves we will try to make eight possible moves of a knight now in some of the moves uh, the i uh, the x or y coordinates will be out of the chessboard so that will not be the valid moves so we will make a check to make sure that we are uh, trying the right position which is within the chessboard. So in the constructor we uh, set the board size and we initialize the visited array which is 2D array which will be keeping our solution. So it will have the moves that are made by the knight. So the number of moves and the order in which it uh, goes to the each square of the chessboard then we are initializing the board so basically we are setting the visited uh, each element in the visited array as uh, a negative value because initially we, we will not have visited any of the square in the chessboard so initially we are setting it to a negative value each element in the visited array and print solution is basically uh, when we have find our solution so we will call the print solution method which will basically print out the elements of the visited array now the important method in the night tour class is the solve night tour problem which is called from the main method so initially uh, we will start from the top left corner so our first move will be from the uh, top left corner which is cell 00, zero. so visited 00, zero will be the first move so we have set it to 0 then we will try to make the next move so our next move so 1 denotes the next move so this solve problem will be a recursive method so it will call itself recursively and 00, zero is the position from where we are starting so which is the top left corner and this will be the recursive method and finally it will return true if it able to find the solution for the night tour problem and then we will call the print solution which will basically print the visited array and if it doesn't find uh, if it not able to go to all the squares of the chessboard exactly once then in that case it will return false and we will print there is no feasible solution found now let's see the solve problem method so in solve problem method we first have the our base case so in base case when we have visited all the possible uh, squares in the chessboard so in that case uh, we will return true so for a 8 into 8 square chessboard uh, the there will be 64 uh, squares so we start from 0 uh, 0 0 cell so that will be our first move so if uh, so we have to basically traverse 63 other squares so if we are uh, move count is equal to equal to both sides uh, into both sides which is uh, for a 8 into 8 square chessboard it will be 64 for a 5 into 5 it will be 25 for a 6 into 6 it will be 36 so in that case we will return basically in uh, this means we have uh, visited all the uh, squares of the chessboard if not we will go into the for loop so basically we are going to try all eight possible moves of uh, the knight so this will be uh, called eight times this for loop if we are not able to find uh, the feasible solution for that knight it will return false so if uh, we are able to find uh, so we will call is valid move so it will check whether uh, that move from the knight is valid or not so it's within the uh, chessboard boundary or not and if we have not visited that square then we will visit that square so we will in, uh, uh, put the move count in that visited array so initially it was having a negative value now we will put it move count into that element position and then we will uh, make the next move try to make the next move of the night so move count plus one and next x location and y location so we are basically trying to make the next move so this will be a recursive call 
So this will again call itself for the next move of the uh, night. And if we have tried all the possible solution, uh, all the possible moves of a uh, night, and if it was not valid uh, move, then in that case we will basically backtrack. So this will be executed uh, when this uh, return false. So for uh, the next move, if we are not able to find uh, any solution uh, for the next move, in that case it will return false and then we will backtrack the previous uh, location of the nights. So basically we will set the minimum value which is a negative value for visited array in the visited array. Now let's see the is valid move. So is valid move basically check the uh, bounds for x and y coordinates. So if x is less than 0 and it's not greater than board size, similarly if y is less than 0 or it's greater than board or greater than equal to board size, it means uh, these moves will be out of the uh, board, chess board, which are not valid moves. So in that case, it will return false. Otherwise, it will return true. So we will check whether that move is valid or not. And we also have to check we have not already visited that uh, square. So if be, these two conditions are true, it means we can visit that uh, square. Otherwise, we will not visit that square. Now, let's see the implementation. Uh, now, let's see the execution. So, let's run the code and see the actual execution of this. So, here is the app class. So, we are calling it for seven uh, board size. So, let me execute this. So, this is the solution for a seven into seven uh, square chessboard. So, this is our initial position zero. So then we will make a move to this square, then this square, then this square. And finally, our 48th move will be at this uh, location. Now let's uh, do it for 8 into 8 square chessboard. So in that case, our last move will be this one, which is 63. So 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6 then 7 and so on so finally this will be our last move now let's do it for a 5 into 5 square chessboard so our last move will be this one uh, 24 because we are starting from 0 so this will be our initial uh, position from where we start so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and finally this will be our 24th uh, the last uh, square that we visit in a 5 into 5 square chessboard. Now let's put a breakpoint and see that execution in the debugger. So if I put a breakpoint here, so this will be executed uh, when we have visited all the uh, squares on the chessboard. So if I run it in debugger now, so let's uh, clear that, now run it in debugger. So you will see on the thread stack, uh, all the recursive calls are there. So when we find our solution, it will return true. So all the previous uh, call stack will return true one by one. So finally, it will return true to this method and we will print our solution. So you will see we will return true one by one and the call stack, all the methods will be removed from the call stack one by one. And finally, we will print our uh, solution by calling the print solution. So in that we are in print solution now. So that's how it works. Uh, now, now in this implementation, we are just printing the first solution that we found. Now, if we want to print all the possible night tour on a chessboard, we can do that. So this is the uh, second version of the night tour. So basically we have changed uh, some of the code. So the implementation remains the same. The only thing that changes is uh, how we call the solve night tour, uh, solve uh, problem method. So in the solve problem method, uh, we print the solution, we return true. 
and here we backtrack so when we find a solution we backtrack so basically we are trying other possible solution from that location so by doing this we will be able to find all the possible uh, solution for the night tour so now let's uh, run this code so everything else remains the same and also one more thing we have added solution count so because there will be more than one solution so we can uh, get the number of solution that we found for that problem so let's run it for a 5 into 5 square chessboard so it printed all the possible solutions so for a 5 into 5 square chessboard there were 304 solutions so if you see uh, 303 and 304 there will be a difference so in so in 303 uh, this square was visited as number 16 but in 304 this square was visited as number 18 so these are all possible solution for a 5 into 5 square chessboard starting from uh, the left uh, top left corner so this place will always be zero so this will be our starting uh, position because in current implementation uh, we are starting from the top left corner so this will be our zero position and from if we initially start from this position so there are uh, possible 304 possible nights tour that are possible if we start from this uh, uh, location this square in the chessboard so that's all about now also one more thing uh, this takes a lot of time so if you run it with a bigger chessboard so if you run it with a 6 into 6 or 7 into 7 this will take a lot of time to execute so you will see it will keep running and keep finding all the possible solutions so that's about the implementation for the night tour problem uh, also one more thing is this is not the most optimal solution for the night tour problem so there is a heuristic approach that can solve this a little fast so probably we will talk about that in one of the later video and you can get the code for this uh, implementation from here